This controversy breaks the icy routine of the Danish royal household like an icebreaker opening the cold waters of the Baltic Sea. Queen Margaret's advisors are perfecting their strategy to cope with the media tsunami caused by Prince Frederick's photos with Genevieve Casanova. While the Mexican escapes the media and takes refuge in London after days spent in the palace of her ex in San Sebastian, the royals show their faces. Federica reappeared this Thursday in the royal hunt and Mary Donaldson is still also locked in the palace, but after a few days she is on television, in particular on the Danish channel DR, which released a statement this Friday. It is a special program in which Mary Donaldson participated and was recorded a few months ago, but which is of particular interest these days because the princess is involved in a conversation about stress, mental disorders and pain with three compatriots who have found a common cure. To fight it, nature. The princess herself chose the North Sea to record the program, a place she has a special affection for, as it was one of the first places she visited when she moved to Denmark. She herself admits that she finds peace and balance there. The princess's situation is very difficult. Their marriage has not been at its best, to the point that they slept in separate rooms for months, but the media uproar raised by the friendship between Federico and Genevieve puts Maria in a very delicate position. She feels humiliated. Some Danish media claim that she is thinking of divorce, others that don't even cross your mind. The truth is that the Australian woman also has to think about the future of her four children, Christian, Isabel, Vincent and Josephine, especially after Queen Margaret revoked the title of prince from the children of Joachim of Denmark. The former Catano Martinez de Arujo has overnight become one of the most sought-after women in the media. She took refuge in Arbazin's palace in San Sebastian, the property of the father of her children, but left it when the paparazzi discovered and photographed her. He is now in London, where his children Luis and Amina live. The Mexican, who suffered a pulmonary embolism last summer, is stressed by the scandal and her doctor and psychologist recommended absolute isolation. She took his instructions literally and even turned off her phone, 